Day one of athletics kicked off yesterday at Apia Park with the 100 meter heats and women's discus. But one highlight, which spectators will never forget, unfolded in the women's 5,000 meter run. Just looking down the field, Bob, a little uh, Akesa Dratini of Fiji, tiny little girl there. There she is in the center of picture there. Yes, uh, interesting stories about her, and we'll Get tell them as it unfolds. Standing by for a start. The women's young athlete, who hails from Wanabuka, made her move in the third lap of the race, overtaking Gavdan and Gahakava. There's our race leader at the moment and favorite. Here comes Dratini then. So this young, uh, young girl from Fiji now beginning to make a move. In fact, uh, pretty significant. There's still uh, a number of laps to go in this women's 5,000 meter event, but uh, Akese Dratini now has really Absolutely zip to the front here. Her tactical move stunning, both spectators and her opponents, but the decision she'd made beforehand with Team PG and her mentor, Joe Roden. She, she didn't warm up. We told her to go out there, do the first three laps. Uh, if you feel good after the first three laps, then, you know, you go for it. I mean, you know, literally go for it. And then she actually went for it, <laughs> and it got us worried. Ingrupini surged ahead with Gabon and Gankava hot in her barefoot heels, trying to decrease the tenacious team's calculated lead. With five laps remaining, this audacious break looked like, looks like it could be coming to an end. Indratini then set the place alight with this audacious break, but is now being ruled, ruled in by Gokava of Papua New Guinea, and just sitting very comfortably behind her. That's a Gardon of Tahiti. She doesn't want to let them pass. But again, she can hear them in uh, just behind her, and she's again put in a little bit of a spurt there, Bob. Yes, she has. She does not want to give give way her lead, um, but I think it's inevitable that that the others will catch her. I was sitting up in the stand. I had to go down and tell her, you know, slow down and just run that pace. I was worried that she might burn out. You know? I know that uh, all the girls are the champion of their country, and I know they will pass me. I just ran like that. As the race approached the final lap, the more experienced Gagdan made her move. Because our leaders now are just on one lap away. The bell is going to start to ring. Here comes the champion, the defending gold medalist. The bell rings. And Dratini of Fiji hanging on for dear life. She, won't she holds on to the heels of the great champ. Gahiva of Papua New Guinea is there ah. as well. There goes the Fiji girl. We've she got a can special surge. Result the crowd up. is going wild, Bob. Unbelievably yes. behind us. Oh, this Fiji is, wonderful. is coming to a standstill here. If they're watching these pictures, have they uncovered a champion? Have they ever? It's wonderful. Gab done unable to go. overtake the barefoot Incredible. and unknown team whose training regime includes running two miles to school each day. The 14 year old Fijian sensation snatching gold from the veteran Gab done and leaving spectators, opponents, and her mentor stunned by her performance. We had brought her over here to run the 1500 meters, and the 5000 meters was the sort of decision that we made when we were here. So we put her in the 5000 meters because we feel she has a good chance of winning the 5000 meters. So we felt that she has a chance, a chance out of uh, probably 10% out of 100 in winning the 5000 meters. And none of us ever thought that she will go out and run the way she ran. I mean, she surprised everybody, even us. I just happy yesterday because it's the first time when I ran in 5,000. And I want to the I want the Fiji team to help me too. And I ran like that. Ndratini's win to go down as a highlight of this, the 13th South Pacific Games and certainly a talent to watch out for in the future.
Merci à la famille. C'est en direct. Hein. Euh, tout ce des tricky, vous me voyez. On a gagné. Wrestling is a small competition, but keenly contested nonetheless. The American influence in territories like Palau and the Federated States of Micronesia see them strong, but Samoa and American Samoa are closing the gap. Today we have the finals of the Greco-Roman discipline. Starts with the advantage. Right. That's over here. He may well get points. Scored. And it will be it, I suspect. There it is. Rizzo shakes hands. The gold medal goes to Prince Williams of Manu Falo of Samoa with the advantage over Lawrence Emilua of the Federated States of Micronesia. This is the 84 kilogram gold. Emilua has gone down in the crab position. He's got him up though. Ooh, that's great strength from Falo. Emilua just trying to lie flat in his belly. And the referee to call to halt the proceedings. Corner going mad, and the crowd are excited as well because the referee has called Fallow for a point. Yes, he has, and that makes the advantage six. So, Manu Fallow has the victory and gold medal for Samoa. a gold medal to Jerry Woolworth and that will be extraordinarily well received throughout the Samoan community as both wrestling and weight and the gold Jerry Woolworth of Samoan Greco Roman even the head of state has had goals for Samoa for wrestling but as you can see New Caledonia continue to rack up the medals and they lead by a long way a great performance by the host nation, PNG may be close to them on the gold tally, but some are, are way ahead in some of them. Action for the track again tomorrow, this time it includes the 1500 and the 400 finals, as well as a heap of field events. We'll have the football semi-finals, they're very important matches because the top three in the football competition go through to the next round of the World Cup playoffs. And of course, more boxing in the evening. Until tomorrow, from all of us at Samoa, Hope us with four.